When I did my feature here on November 22nd, I dedicated it to Alan Acacia, my uh, friend of 53 years who had just been diagnosed um, with uh, stage four lung cancer. And uh, so all the poems were either about him or his poems or ones that he had asked for. Um, he uh, passed away on uh, Christmas night and um, uh, I'm going, and so there's going to be a gathering of people, uh, <coughs> his siblings, his neighbors, his neighborhood association, uh, old friends, and um, probably a number of ex-lovers. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out what to say there about a guy that I've known uh, for 53 years and since, since high school. Because uh, when you bring that many people together, you wind up with a little slice of time. And uh, it occurred to me that, that uh, I know from me and I know from him that there's way too many aspects to a person to actually be able to memorialize it or remember it in any kind of depth in a gathering that includes so many and disparate elements. So primarily I just want to listen. Um, tonight I want to read a poem by somebody else, a fellow named John Gottfried Sachs, who himself wrote this poem based upon a, an old story that was old even in uh, the first century BC when it was first written down. And it's called Six Blind Men and the Elephant. Wow. And um, in his poem, he's really talking about religion. But in the context that I will probably bring, be bringing it to this gathering, we're talking about <coughs> the sum parts of a person. It was six men of Indostan, to learning much inclined, who went to see the elephant, though all of them were blind, and each by observation might satisfy his mind. The first approached the elephant, and happening to fall against his broad and sturdy side, at once began to bawl, God bless me, but the elephant is nothing but a wall. The second, feeling of the tusk, cried, Ho! What have we here? So very round and smooth and sharp. To me, tis mighty clear. This wonder of an elephant is very like a spear. The third approached the animal, and happening to take the squirming trunk within his hands, I see, quoth he, the elephant is very like a snake. The fourth reached out his eager hand and felt about the knee. What most this wondrous beast is like is mighty plain, quoth he. Tis clear enough the elephant is very like a tree. The fifth, who chanced to touch the ear, said, E the blindest man could tell what this resembles most. Deny that fact who can. This marvel of an elephant is very like a fan. The sixth, no sooner had begun about the beast to grope than seizing on the swinging tail that fell within his scope. I see, quoth he, the elephant is very like a rope. And so these men of Indostan disputed loud and long, each in his own opinion exceeding stiff and strong, though each was partly in the right and all were in the wrong. So. Oft in theological wars, the disputants I ween tread in utter ignorance of what each other mean, and prate about the elephant not one of them has seen. Oh. Mm -hmm.